Microsoft has released the Web Platform Installer or Web PI version 2 beta. The Web PI is a free tool that can be used on Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows Server 2003, and Windows Server 2008 or later. The version 2.0 beta release makes it easy to not just install the Microsoft Web Platform, which you could do with the 1.0 release, but also the free open source applications that are available in the Windows Web App Gallery. I'm going to show you how you can install free web applications from the Web App Gallery using the Web PI. One way is to go to the Windows Web App Gallery itself, which you can access by going to microsoft.com slash web slash gallery. As you can see, the Windows Web App Gallery lets you browse and discover different open source applications, both ASP.NET and PHP. Here I can learn more about Embraco, for example, which is an ASP.NET open source CMS that makes it really easy to create a website. You can use the editing interface that they've created that also has word integration. And developers can extend the content management system using .NET controls. I can learn more about Embraco by going directly to the Embraco.org website or I can read through some of the user ratings that have been posted by people who have downloaded Embraco onto their computers. When I click install, the Windows Web App Gallery will launch the Web PI. All installations from the Windows Web App Gallery are handled by the Web PI. If I don't have Web PI installed on my computer, I can click this install button, which will launch the installation of the Web PI for me. In this case, I have Web PI installed on my computer, so when I click install, Web App Gallery is going to launch the Web Platform Installer. The other way that I can discover free web applications from the Web App Gallery is going directly to the Web Platform Installer. As you can see, there are three tabs, What's New, Web Platform, and Web Applications. The What's New tab lists the latest of the web stack components, listed here, as well as new applications that have been either updated or added to the Web App Gallery. Right now, I'm going to focus on installing an application. In the process of installing an application, WebPI will automatically pull through the required components to run on Windows. So let's go to the Web Applications tab. When I go to the Web App tab, I can see all the apps that are available in the Web App Gallery. When an application is added to the Web App Gallery, it is actually added to an Atom feed that is consumed by the gallery itself, WebPI, and participating hoster control panels. Right now, what you're seeing here is the contents of the Web App Gallery Atom feed that is displayed directly in the Web Platform Installer. You can also see the same categories that we looked at in the Windows Web App Gallery here in the Web PI. So I'm going to click Content Management to see the different ASP.NET and PHP content management solutions that I can pick. Umbraco is here as well. So I can click the Information icon and learn more details about the Umbraco solution. I have the same options of clicking through to the Embraco org site and learning more about version and download size and the release date. Let's go ahead and click to include this application in my installation and then click install. The web PI displays not just the application that I have selected for installation but also the required dependencies such as SQL which I don't have on my computer yet. What WebPI did when it launched initially is scan my computer to see what is installed. WebPI can compare the dependencies for the application against what WebPI knows is installed on my computer. In this case, the Delta is SQL Server Express, so WebPI is going to pull through the installation of the SQL Server Express product as part of installing Embraco. The goal for WebPI is to simplify the deployment of the applications that you select. So this dependency pull-through is part of that installation simplification for these applications. I'm going to click I accept to continue. This is a SQL Server Express installation screen that asks you to select the password that you want to use for the installation of SQL Server. So I'm going to go ahead and add my password. Click continue. And what WebPI is doing right now is it's actually downloading SQL Server Express 2008 from the public download location. This top bar that you see in WebPI is actually tracking that download process. Once WebPI is done downloading SQL Server Express, it's going to actually go ahead and run the installation program for SQL Server silently, passing in the information that you just provided to set the password. 
While WebPI is running the installation for SQL Server Express, it's going to go to the public location for Umbraco and pull down the application package from Umbraco's website. Once the SQL Server Express product is finished installing, then WebPI will go ahead and start the installation for Umbraco. Now before WebPI, I would have to manually pre-install and configure all required dependencies before installing Umbraco. The Umbraco community added a few XML files to their application package in order to enable this simplified installation process on Windows platforms. We'll see that simplified installation experience in just a few moments after the initial install is completed. Rather than make you watch the progress bars for WebPI, I'm going to skip ahead to the end of the installation process and show you how WebPI collects custom user information as part of the installation of the Umbraco application. Looks like WebPI has completed the installation of SQL Express as a dependency and downloaded the application package from the Umbraco community website. In this first screen that you see here, WebPI is going to ask you where you want to install Umbraco. I'm going to install Umbraco on the default website and take these default values that were provided. I'm going to create a new database in my SQL Server using the administrator username and the password information that I set up as part of the SQL Express installation and the password information that I provided as part of the SQL Express installation. I'm going to change Umbraco's default value for the database username to me and change the default database name to a custom value. Umbraco looks like Umbraco successfully installed and has installed SQL Server Express as a dependency for the application. Let's go ahead and launch the web app now to see if it installed correctly. Looks like it has. As you can see in a few short steps with a single free tool called Microsoft Web Platform Installer 2.0 Beta, I was able to find a free open source web application from either the Windows Web App Gallery or from the Web Platform Installer itself that installs cleanly and easily on Windows. Thanks for watching and I hope these IIS tools and technologies help you with your web development and deployment.